Video 34. Well, there are three battery packs now installed, so it's a 120 volt uh, system. The fuse is in, it's all wired up uh, and ready to deliver current. You can see down here, this is the negative terminal. You can see a few things. There's a one black wire come down, that's the, uh, the negative uh, voltage tap for the uh, BMS. All the cell wire taps are in place, so the whole BMS is all now uh, laid out. There's also even a thermal sensor down there floating underneath the, uh, underneath the clear top. So we keep an eye on the battery temperatures. And um, actually, one thing I wanted to point out last time around, I guess maybe it didn't too clear, you can see the red, the main throttle, and I uh, also put in a PB6 pot box, that's to run that sound racer, uh, so I can get uh, both independently of each other, just a piece of fishing line holding two together for the moment. And it may be permanent, it's a good fishing line. So I've uh, brought in the BMS and mounted that over here on the front on top of the, uh, the passenger uh, foot box. And uh, the cables are all pulled in, the main cable, uh, high voltage uh, tap, and the, uh, the current sensors down here. You can see that down around the, around the, the plus uh, power wire that feeds into the, into the controller. And then around here under the dash, or behind the dashboard, is the, uh, where all the wires coming together between the, the front portions on the, on the BMS. And then we switch all back here to uh, the back end's now been wired for uh, AC and DC, high voltage AC. Uh, you can see the um, uh, just a 110 volt uh, input right there. It goes to a little junction box and then it comes into some internal circuitry here. So there's a, a relay to control uh, AC power on and off. And uh, another little power supply, another relay to kind of to sense when the uh, car is plugged in so the BMS can make decisions about what to do. I've had to pull the battery charger apart. Somehow I managed to get a blown fuse in the output. Not quite sure how I did that, but a little test fuse. Uh, uh, the whole thing is working, so I guess I'm good. Um, I've got a couple of replacement fuses on the way. I also added in the uh, bolted down the 12-volt um, battery. It's got the little uh, cell log 8 on it, so you can kind of see that for a second there. And then uh, a DC to DC converter that's going to bring down the... Um, main pack voltage down in to keep feeding that 12 volt, keep that warm. And uh, you can see where I pulled the, the 12 volt uh, or the high volt wiring together so the 12's on the front two connectors on that block and uh, up to 360 when the packs are fully populated. It's only about 130 right now uh, volts right there. And then the, I also put in a uh, little switch down here, a master turn off switch and, and the main uh, 40 amp fuse for the, uh, for the 12 volt system in the car. So, so a little bit further here, she's getting uh, ready for uh, the final wrap up on uh, as soon as that fuse comes in. I can just about ready to button this thing up, do a little more testing, but uh, at this point it's all looking pretty good electrically. And uh, trying to look for any last, uh, last minute items to do uh, before I turn and start working on the, the body. So that'll be coming up next. And uh, can't wait to make this thing finally look like a car.